Okay, hello everyone. So uh, what are we going to do here now is uh, for our FE exam review, uh, civil engineering geotechnical part. Uh, I'm your instructor, Dr. Wilson Kwan. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel for more videos on FE exam PELP. So um, what I'm showing here on the screen is the um, National Council of Examiner for Engineering and Surveying Reference Handbook, Geotechnical Park. There are seven pages plus two additional uh, reference materials. Uh, let's have a quick overview uh, before we get into pro uh, example problems or the details on the concepts. Um, the seven pages of materials, I uh, break it down into five different modules. Uh, uh, module number one is the phase relationships. Uh, number two is the soil hydraulic. Uh, number three is uh, soil settlements. Uh, the fourth one is uh, stresses and a strength. Uh, and finally, uh, the, uh, the fifth uh, module uh, for this uh, reference manuals are the applications. Um, the first uh, phase relationships, uh, it consists of uh, page one and uh, 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 getting to half of the first, uh, second pages. Uh, and those uh, uh, topic or those materials actually is covered uh, in our civil engineering course, uh, CE3660, and also the lab class, uh, CE368. So CE366 is a uh, Cal COA, is a geotechnical engineering number one, and uh, 368 is the geotechnical engineering lab. Uh, I have uh, specific or more uh, YouTube channels or lectures uh, on each specific lecture. So for example, for the phase relationships, uh, module number one, uh, it is covered in C366 uh, lecture. One, two, and seven. Um, and in the lab, uh, we have done uh, the density lab, um, the algebra limit test, and also we have done the green sign distributions, and also the specific gravity lab. Uh, if you want like a, a better uh, study in the topic, uh, you better review uh, those lecture, which is also available on. Uh, on YouTube, and I put a link on the descriptions uh, below. So this, that is the first uh, module number one about phase relationships. Um, as you can see, like uh, the, the majority, uh, the main focus is uh, the phase diagram, but it uh, pretty much is the first page you're seeing here, uh, but you also uh, touch base on other concepts like uh, density here, this is the comp soil compactions. So this is like a C3360 lecture seven. Uh, and also the algebra limit, which is covered in the three C three sixty H lab. Uh, and also this going to the topic of green sign distributions. So again, this is just a quick overview. Uh, I will have more lectures and uh, YouTube uh, uh, videos to talk about each uh, more uh, in our extended uh, explanations and also uh, uh, we will do some uh, review questions together but here is just a quick overview uh, uh, pretty much like you know where to find the uh, materials and um, so the next topic is the soil hydraulic and soil hydraulics, um, we cover in CHL lecture three and lecture four. We have the uh, soil hydraulic lab, which particular talk about the constant head test. And the falling head test. And on the reference menu, uh, the second module, soil hydraulics, pretty much this is uh, the module number two. So 
So about that is the module number one about the uh, about the uh, phase relationships and also uh, soil index properties. And module number two is the involved in the movement of the uh, water, the seepage, uh, so hydraulic. And um, module number three uh, is uh, involved the, uh, the topic of soil settlements. And there's two part. First is the compressibility, uh, which means by how much settlements has occurred. And the uh, uh, second part uh, of the topic is the time rate, the time rate of settlements, which means uh, when settlement happens, how fast? And in C366, uh, we have uh, lecture eight. We talk about um, the compressibility of soils and lecture number nine. Again, you can find those uh, reference uh, lecture in the descriptions uh, below. And uh, CE 366 lecture number nine uh, cover the topic of uh, time reach of settlements. And we have uh, one major lab in CE 368, uh, the geotechnical lab, which is the consolidations. And if we go back to our uh, FE exam menu, so pretty much like uh, the topic here up to this point is talk about the uh, the soil settlements, the first part of it, the compressibility. And after that, including the, the table here, you want the time rate, the time factor there, those are the, uh, for the time rate of settlements. And when you think about this, again, this is correspond to how fast the settlements occur. And this is by how much. And last but not least, um, our theoretical uh, concept of your theoretical uh, topics here is uh, module number four. We talk about the um, the stresses and also the strength of the soil, and this is covered in uh, lecture number five. Uh, soil stresses, including the verticals and horizontal stresses, and also lecture number eleven. Talk about the soil strength in C three six six geotechnical engineering uh, from Cal State RA, and um, in the lab. We have done uh, unconfined compression test. And also done direct shear test uh, to work on the, the topic of soil strength. Um, and if you go back to your reference menu, very much like that. This is module number four up to this point. So those are the modules number four. And uh, be read that uh, on those diagram graph right there uh, in the mix with uh, all of it like a third concept on the applications. When you involve, involve the uh, effective horizontal force here, actually those are uh, uh, module 5.2. Uh, when we talk about the retaining wall design. So uh, we will get to, get to that part. Uh, but pretty much like uh, from here, go on, those are module number four. We talk about stresses and also here cover the topic of soil strength. 
the majority is uh, is is uh, is about the stresses, and this particular part is talk about the more column travel envelope, and this is uh, create your source string. And after module number four, that is uh, the application part, what I call the uh, module number five. And there's uh, three part of it. In module number five, uh, there's uh, the foundation design. Uh, we use this a lot, uh, the automate bearing capacity of soil, um, and also retaining wall design and also stop stability. So pretty much uh, when we go to this menu, this is the 5.1, the automate uh, bearing capacity. And this is 5.2. Talk about the retaining wall design. And this is the 5.3, the stop stability. And 5.2 again is the retaining wall design. And 5.1 is the bearing capacity of soil. So this is a quick overview of the uh, FE exam uh, menu, a geotechnical part. Uh, we will have more other YouTube uh, videos to uh, cover uh, each modules more extensively. And also uh, we will solve some examples problem together. So please subscribe to my YouTube channels and uh, for more FE exam help.